The spring does look like it's going to average about historical averages, but the tornado output may be a little bit low to start off. 2023 spring severe weather season got off to an early and furious start thanks to major tornado outbreaks in late March and early April. The number of tornadoes we're expecting in March is going to be much lower than 2023. We had over 200 tornadoes in 2023. I think this year it's going to be closer to the average, if not slightly below. That's due to cooler than average waters in the northern part of the Gulf of Mexico. But as we move further into the spring, activity is expected to increase. Then getting to April starts to spread out the coverage area, but still the amount of tornadoes uh, may not be up there as far as, uh, you know, above average, probably closer to average. The severe output damaging winds and hail, that may be above average. Pastelock says comparing the current pattern to that of previous years highlights areas that may see the higher severe weather risk. We'll start to see expanding towards the plains, expanding toward the Ohio Valley a bit. We've seen past what we call analog years, years that we match up to the current pattern, showing Illinois, Indiana, and these places getting hit in the past in this type of pattern. AccuWeather long range experts expect severe weather and tornadoes to ramp up during the peak of tornado season. May is when the tornadoes start to really come about. We start to see more flow coming out of the Gulf, warmer waters developing there. Tornadoes occurring in Tornado Alley have been below historical average in Mays of recent years, but forecasters say that could change this year. We do feel that it could be above historical averages as far as the amount of tornadoes, central and southern plains especially, as we get into May. So kind of traditional, that's the uh, trend we're seeing for 2024. For AccuWeather, I'm meteorologist Tony Lawback.